So I've spent some good time using both the Debian 13 and Fedora 42 templates in Cubes OS. And honestly, each brings its own vibe to the table. Starting with Debian 13, I appreciate how rock solid and stable it feels. It's like that reliable friend who doesn't change much but always gets the job done. The package management with apt feels very familiar and straightforward, which is great if you want stability and a huge repository of tested software. Plus, Debian's long release cycles mean fewer surprises. It's perfect if you want a system that just quietly works without you needing to fuss with updates all the time. On the other hand, Fedora 42 feels more cutting edge and fresh. It's like the adventurous sibling who's always trying the newest tech and features. The DNF package manager works smoothly. And I like that Fedora often bundles the latest versions of software and Linux kernel updates, which makes it feel more up-to-date out of the box. This means better hardware support sometimes and access to newer tools if you want to experiment or need something specific that's only in recent releases. However, that can also mean you might hit bugs or quirks occasionally because it's less conservative compared to Debian. In terms of usability within cubes, both templates integrate well, but I noticed Debian 13 tends to use a bit less memory and runs a bit leaner, probably because it's more minimalist by default. Fedora 42, with its newer packages and features, sometimes feels a tad heavier but also smoother for desktop use, or if you want to install more modern applications easily. Installation-wise, Fedora's official spins and the Cube's templates are pretty straightforward to grab once released, while Debian's reputation for reliability extends to its installation process, solid and predictable. For me, if you want a no-nonsense, stable environment that will keep running smoothly with minimal hassle, Debian 13 is the way to go. But if you're like me and enjoy having the latest tech and don't mind occasionally troubleshooting little hiccups, Fedora 42 brings that fresh, modern touch. Both are great, honestly, it just depends on whether you prefer stability or staying on the cutting edge. I've personally switched between the two depending on the project or mood, and I appreciate having both options in Cubes OS.